Niger, 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 Thailand, Timor Leste, Timor Leste, Box number two. Now we will proceed with the first round of election for the post Deputy Secretary General of ITU. <laughs> Mr. Shola Taylor received 64 votes. Mr. Malcolm Johnson received 104 votes. As you heard, Mr. Malcolm Johnson from UK has obtained the required majority and I declare Mr. Malcolm Johnson elected for the post of Deputy Secretary General of ITU. Congratulations. Thank you very much, uh, <coughs> Chairman. And firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the UK government uh, for its support to my candidature, especially British Ambassador Karen Pearce and her delegation. I thank all member states who voted for me for their trust in me. I'd like to thank my fellow candidates for their fair and professional campaigns. We certainly gave you all some excitement. Having such a qualified and diverse field of candidates is testament to our commitment to the union and bodes well for its future. I hope we can rely upon their continuing participation in ITU and, and I look forward to working with them over the next four years. I wanted to congratulate uh, my good friend Malcolm Johnson and Catherine Johnson uh, on behalf of the leadership of the union and on behalf of all the staff of ITU. Malcolm, you did well and we are very pleased to see you in this team it's another testimony of your trust in the leadership of this uh, uh, current management team, having elected the Deputy Secretary General and the Secretary General from the current team. Congratulate Malcolm and Catherine Johnson. Malcolm has done a tremendous amount to promote capacity building and development throughout the ITU and throughout the globe, and has acted in the best traditions of the Union his commitment to accessibility and overcoming the global technology divide has served the membership well and will continue to serve us all well as we go forward.